Here is my review of a counted cross stitch kit from One Day Savings. It's a 14 count called Dream Aurora. I did an unboxing on this one a while ago and I started to work on it and I'm really impressed with the pattern. It's very clear. <clears throat> Even from a distance I could see it pretty well. I started with page one of the pattern. <clears throat> And to find the middle, you look for a red line or an arrow to find the middle of the design. And where those red lines meet is the middle of your design. So that is right here. It's like a window of the house. Color number nine is what I would start with. So then you have to find the middle of your fabric. Um, there's lines in the fabric already because the way they folded it when they shipped it. So I ignored that line and I folded it in half and then in half again in a square. It was hard to do because I was holding my camera. But where those lines intersect on my fold is the middle of the fabric. So ignoring that first fold line from shipping, I went by my fold lines and there is the start of the window at the top of the house on page one of the pattern. So I double checked again and then I got started. So I started using that color and following the pattern. So after a while I put it in a hoop. It went into a hoop really easy. The fabric's very stiff and here you see I'm using a table clamp to hold my hoop. And again, the pattern's very clear. From a distance, I could still see it really good. The only thing I did different was I changed the needle. The needle that they gave, um, the eye of the needle was kind of small, so I just picked a different needle. And then I have a clamp, a clamp-on lamp right there that helped me to see. So then I just um, went off and started stitching. Mm -hmm. general analysis on this is that it's a good product. The fabric is quite stiff and that is why I put it in a hoop and um, a holder because when I was doing it in hand, I don't know if you can see my knuckles right there, um, from going underneath the fabric to bring the thread up, my knuckles kept scraping on the fabric and it was kind of giving me a raw spot there. So this is better worked in a hoop. And then um, I'm still on page one, so the page one is this part, and then I'll move to page two, which is right here, and then three and four. So this is going to take me a little while. Uh, this is how far I've gotten. I am right over... I'm like right here, right here. This is the roof, you can see right here. So it's pretty colorful, the threads are nice. They're not, um, they're not bunching up or tangling or anything like that. You can see how smooth the stitches are going in. 
So that's my analysis. I don't believe this design is available on their website anymore, but this is a Joy Sunday. I'll put a link to their section of cross stitch. I, I think this comes in a printed cross stitch as well. They have many different printed and non-printed cross stitch. So this is part of my winter projects going in my rotation of things that I will continue to work on. All right, thanks for watching.